streaming live on WFLA Now, powered by 1-800-ASK-GARY. Happy Saturday morning, Tampa Bay. Max Defender 8 meteorologist Amanda Holly here with a look at your weekend forecast. Just a quick heads up. I am already tracking a few downpours on Max Defender 8 this morning. And the time now is about 9.48 on this Saturday morning of a very hot June weekend in store. We're already up to 85 along Bayshore right now. We've got humid conditions in place. We're already seeing some clouds developing and moving in as well. Uh, so yeah, this is kind of the pattern that we're going to expect as we go through the weekend. But I wanted to jump on here as we do every Saturday morning on Facebook Live so you can join me. You can use the hashtag hey Amanda in the comments and then I can publish them on the screen and you can tell me where you're joining me from this morning uh, if you just want to say hey or if you tell me your weekend plans and have a forecast question as well we can talk about all of those things but I want to get through the forecast for you so you can plan out your day today and into tomorrow let you know where the best rain chances will be today and tomorrow and I have an update in the tropics for you yes we are tracking possible tropical development into early next week. So we'll start with our forecast locally, then I'll get to the tropics here in just a minute. But for now, that's a live look again, nine, about 9.50 on this Saturday morning at Bayshore. Lots of folks out there enjoying the day. It's only going to get hotter from here. Temperatures at 85 right now, but the humidity levels in that excessive category making it feel more like the low 90s right now and possibly the triple digits this afternoon. So yes, it is important for you to stay hydrated and make sure you're taking breaks from the outside. Actual temperatures today up near 90. Again, feeling more like 100 with that humidity. Tomorrow, I think we'll maybe be a degree or two cooler. Uh, we'll have maybe some extra clouds and maybe a few more showers around tomorrow afternoon. But both days, very high humidity levels, and we'll be tracking some showers using Max Defender 8 radar. I'm already tracking those downpours. There's been several moving onshore, especially in coastal portions of Sarasota and Manatee County. A couple of downpours have been moving onshore up in Hernando and Pasco County as well. We've got this westerly wind. That's an onshore wind pattern and that typically gives us morning coastal showers uh, right along our immediate coastline. They drift inland. And then in the afternoon, the bulk of the showers and storms that form are in our inland counties, inland Polk, Highlands County. We saw that exact pattern yesterday, and it's in place right now as well. We've been relatively drier, though, after we had those uh, several day stretch of really nice showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. But now we've got high pressure centered out in the Gulf of Mexico, and that's what's helping to give us the onshore wind and helping to keep us a little bit drier than we were. But moisture levels, uh, especially looking at water vapor, the moisture levels are going to go back up, especially into Monday and Tuesday, and that's going to help to re-increase those rain chances. So this is what I'm talking about. In the afternoon, we see scattered activity mainly east of I-75. This is around 1, 2 o'clock, and that will continue through the evening. We dry out overnight. And then tomorrow morning, the, the activity focuses right along the coastline. In the afternoon, it drifts inland, and that's where we'll see those showers and storms form Sunday afternoon. As we head into Monday, though, there's a lot more moisture involved. So that means those rain chances are a little bit higher, and uh, I think we'll see a better coverage of those showers and storms as well. So looking at the rain over the next five days, and when we look at each day individually, you can see that the accumulations are going to be highest on Monday and into Tuesday. That's where I think we'll have the deepest moisture in place, the most widespread storms for more of us to see heavy downpours. But today, Saturday, mainly inland showers this afternoon. You can see the uh, rainfall accumulations is in that very light to light category. Tomorrow, maybe a little bit better coverage, but again, Monday and Tuesday will have the deepest moisture in place and enough moisture for widespread showers and a few thunderstorms. As we get into late next week, that's when we're going to have to be keeping an eye on the tropics and depending on where the deepest moisture sets up will be uh, the placement of the highest rain chances. But the deepest moisture over the next few days here kind of lingers through Tuesday 
after that, that's when we'll be keeping an eye on the Gulf of Mexico, mainly though, the western Gulf of Mexico. And uh, this is the deeper tropical moisture that could be organizing into potentially our next name storm. We'll keep an eye on it right now. I think high pressure and actually some Saharan dust are gonna keep this in the western Gulf, which is good news for us. But that could leave us on the drier side for next weekend. So again, this is the area that the National Hurricane Center is tracking and they just updated it. You can see the circle is now orange. So I do wanna get you the latest information with that. Um, they have increased the chance for development over the next five days and we'll get you that. This was the 8 a.m. update. Now, we're looking at a 10% chance of development over the next two days and a 40% chance of development over the next five days. So that's here, 10% to and a 40% for the next five days. And you can see this is in the Bay of Campeche here. There's not really anything going on just yet, just some cloud cover. It's really not gonna be until early next week that we're gonna be really watching this area uh, for the potential organization of a, an area of low pressure. This area of low pressure will then gradually move off to the north, but I think it's going to stay in the western gulf. So again, that would leave us on the drier side with less moisture involved. But if that uh, moisture, wherever the moisture pocket de decides to go, whether it's a tropical system or not, if it ends up in the middle of the, uh, the northern gulf there, then we could see a little bit more moisture and a little bit higher rate chances. But for now, here's a look at the eight day forecast and that's what we've got uh, going on. So today, this morning, I'm thinking that I th the, the dr will be on the slightly drier side and that moisture will be a little bit farther away. And that's what led me to drop those rain chances to a 20% for next weekend. But that could change. So just keep, keep that in mind when you are checking in, of course, on the Max Defender 8 official forecast for you. But for today, those rain chances at a 30%, mainly for our inland counties. And then tomorrow, same sort of setup. We'll see some morning showers at the coast, and then they'll drift inland in the afternoon. Better rain chances, the best rain chances, if you will, right now over the next eight days are on Monday and into Tuesday. So again, thanks for joining me on this Saturday morning on WFLA Now, uh, going over the the forecast for you quick and we've got the comments coming in using the hashtag hey amanda that's the way i can publish them on the screen for us and uh, we can we can get you going with, with your weekend forecast but um, that's the eight day right now i'll throw up the tower camera for us so we have something pretty to look at while we go through some of these comments matt paterno asking hashtag hey amanda any rain for parish right now there are a few showers out there and i wouldn't be surprised if a downpour passed quickly over the parish area through about the noon hour after that parish rain chance is probably going to drop off a good bit in the afternoon but tomorrow morning same sort of pattern Brief, a couple of brief downpours not out of the question for Parrish. So thank you for your question there. Bobby asking, hashtag, hey Amanda, are we going to get our second named storm? And I was just kind of going over that and there is a there's a medium chance right now that we could be looking at our next name storm, our second name storm of the hurricane season this year into early and middle portions of next week. That next name on the list being Bill. So you'll be watching for that. Potentially we could see Bill in the Western Gulf next week, but it is very early to talk about um, details on how organized it would be, where it would go, um, if it will even have a name. The National Hurricane Center just updated their, their numbers and it's a 10% for the next two days and a 40% for the next five. So that's really something we'll be keeping an eye on next week, Bobby. But thank you for your question. It's always good to check in on uh, the tropics. Of course, we'll have an update on tracking the tropics to Wednesdays at 2 p.m. right here on, this, uh, on, on our WFLA app and our WFLA Facebook page. Barbara Libertelli saying, hashtag, hi, Amanda. Any rain coming our way down to Cape Coral today? Um, similar setup for Cape Coral. There is a little extra moisture down south. Of course, the farther south you go, you're always going to typically have a little extra moisture. But I still think same sort of setup for you guys. It's going to be the best chances to see any downpours are going to be in the morning in Cape Coral. And then in the afternoons, uh, the rain chances will increase inland then decreasing at the coast. So it could see a couple of passing downpours, but I'm not expecting uh, widespread showers or storms in Cape Coral.
Pearl. A couple more comments coming in. Again, if you use the hashtag HeyAmanda in the comment section, that's how I'm able to publish them on screen, exactly like what Paul did here. He started off uh, the comment with hashtag HeyAmanda. It's the pound sign and then just the words hey Amanda, and, and then I can publish them on screen. That lets me know that you want your comment to be featured and uh, you just wanna join my conversation on this Saturday morning. So Paul saying, hashtag hey Amanda, when will South Pinellas Park get some rain again? Storms always popping off all around us, but never here. I know, Pinellas Park, um, Saint, downtown St. Pete, uh, just the, the southern half of Pinellas County has really just not been in on any of the rainfall uh, since we got those first several days of when rainy season really kicked off. You guys were just missed and I'm so sorry. Um, typically South Pinellas Park and the southern half of Pinellas County really gets rain chances um, increasing when we're in a typical summer pattern. Um, and that's because we see a quick pop-up downpour happen uh, right in the middle of the day and then they kind of dissipate and then the sea breeze takes over. Um, so could today, you, again this morning, could see a passing downpour or two. Tomorrow morning, you could see a passing downpour or two. Rain chances aren't the greatest. Uh, just the coverage is just not going to be all that great. But there, there's definitely a low chance you could see a, a brief downpour or two over the next couple of days. Monday and Tuesday, though, much better rain chances. Um, you'll have to use Max Defender Radar and watch for those developing downpours out in the Gulf of Mexico, and then they'll be moving toward us as we get into the, the morning hours. So um, good luck. I hope, I hope a downpour passes over. I really do. I know you guys need the rain uh, really bad. Let's see here. Leslie Yates saying, hashtag Hey Amanda, also asking about the tropical system. Um, hashtag Hey Amanda, going to Cantu Cancun on the 21st, is there a depression on the Yucatan Peninsula? Great question. I will go back to... Um, the area that I'm watching because lots of folks want to know about it here. So um, this is this is what we're looking at. I will say the, the development chances have increased since I last updated this graphic. So please keep that in mind. We're up to 10% for the next two days and up to 40% for the next five days. But that's the area that we're looking. You're asking about the 21st and good news for you, Leslie, um, that's still a ways away yet. If by the time we get to the 21st, whatever this becomes, whatever it doesn't become, this deeper moisture that we'll be kind of organizing right here is going to be farther to the north. So um, I can't tell you for sure if there's going to be a depression um, on the Yucatan Peninsula on the 21st, just because it's a little far out from our forecast, but this particular area will not be in this region when you're there on the 21st. So hopefully that is some, uh, a sigh of relief for you on this Saturday morning. Um, enjoy Cancun. That sounds like fun. I'm jealous. Gigi Bowman saying, hashtag, hey, Amanda, it's pouring in Port St. Lucie. Yes, Port St. Lucie. Uh, we've got a few downpours out there, really, on Max Defender 8 radar. I can scroll back through the graphics here to get you a, a look at Max Defender 8 radar. That's water vapor, there's satellite and radar, and one more should get me back to um, Max Defender 8. There it is. We'll take uh, your comment down, Gigi. Yes, it's pouring in St. Lucie. You can see that's on the really right side of your screen. That's over on the east coast of Florida. And there's a couple of downpours over there, as we have a couple of downpours on our coast. So mainly in Sarasota County right now, seeing some of those heavier downpours moving through. Um, and it looks like we've got a pretty good downpour up um, in Hernando County, just north of Spring Hill. These are all moving from the west to the east. So uh, you see the, the downpours that are offshore of Sarasota County. Those are headed uh, toward the coastline as well. So those could move on shore within the next 30 minutes or so. But I'm glad you're getting some rain there in Port St. Lucie, although you guys have had a little bit more rain than we have had. Uh, Tiny saying, hashtag, hey, Amanda, should I wash my truck in Tampa today or just let it go? Hashtag, no rain. <laughs> uh, well, just because you wash your car, if you decide to wash your car, it's probably going to rain. Just because that's the way it works, right? Regardless of the weather forecast or not. <laughs> uh, but the chances, if you, if you wash your truck later on this afternoon, the chances are a little bit lower uh, for the downpours in the afternoon because the best chances to see rain in the afternoon hours are going to be inland. But that's not to say we wouldn't see a downpour move through tomorrow morning. Um, 
Now, if you're talking about washing your car over the next five days, today is probably the better day to do so because tomorrow we'll see a slightly better coverage um, in those downpours and especially into Monday and Tuesday. I would um, definitely say not, not wash the car on Monday and into Tuesday. Kai Williams, a regular um, viewer here on Saturday mornings with me on WFLA Now. She's saying, hashtag, hey, Amanda, missing the Miami weather. It's so cold in Perth, Australia. Hope you all have a wonderful day. I hope you have a wonderful day, too. Thanks for joining me. I always love to hear what's going on over on that part of the world. It's pretty cool that you join us um, over here in Florida. Yeah, Miami weather, it's hot and humid right now, uh, especially in Miami. Stephen Bennett saying hashtag hey Amanda is Ruskin going to get any rain? Ruskin same sort of story you're right along the I-75 corridor there so better chances are going to be kind of between right now and about noon and then as we head into the afternoon hours it's going to get a little bit drier you're going to see fewer clouds and those rain chances really will be slim to none this afternoon but tomorrow morning you have another chance to see if some downpours move through and then um, even better chances for everyone come in on um, on Monday and into Tuesday and I think that uh, this particular again this is just one model of a future radar some downpours inland this afternoon and then as we go into tomorrow morning you'll see those downpours develop at the coast again um, we'll, we'll have some extra moisture farther to the north that's why it's displaying um, some showers up, up north of I-4 along the coast up there but then tomorrow afternoon they'll move inland but Monday watch what happens on Monday here um, the moisture picks up, we see a lot more cloud cover, and those showers and storms, they become a bit more widespread even into the midday and the afternoon hours. So better rain chances coming in Monday and Tuesday. Loving all these comments coming in, folks. Thanks so much for joining me this morning. Sherry Arch saying, hashtag, hey Amanda, will Avon Park get rain soon? So probably not in the next couple of hours, um, but Avon Park will have another chance to see some downpours develop this afternoon. Yesterday, we got some beautiful pictures of the one thunderstorm that was out in Highlands County. It was a little bit closer to Lake Okeechobee, so off to the southeast of um, Avon Park, but beautiful pictures. If you saw that mushroom-like cloud in the sky yesterday off to the southeast. That was a thunderstorm over 90 miles away from Tampa that we could see here. It was beautiful. Um, and um, yeah, that's because rain chances were highest inland yesterday. That same sort of pattern will happen today. So Avon Park, rain chances not really increasing until after about 1 or 2 p.m. That's, that's what we've got going on. But yeah, as we get into the next five days, this is a look at the rain individually over the next five days, those accumulations. And tomorrow, uh, it looks like we'll have a little bit better coverage than today. And then by Monday and Tuesday, that's where you see the darker greens out there. Uh, could see some heavier downpour, some soaking rains, uh, but I'm expecting the coverage to be a lot, a lot better. Ooh, comment coming in from... Um, Bradley Walker, hashtag hey Amanda, what's it looking like for Crystal River planning a camping trip this week? Well, this is really a perfect graphic for that because Crystal River, um, I, I'm not exactly sure what days you're there, if you're there a whole week. I think Monday and Tuesday you're going to see uh, heavier downpours moving through. Not going to be an all-day rain. Uh, there will be breaks in the rain. There are going to be sh pockets of heavier downpours moving through. Uh, but there will be certainly some uh, some dry time for you to get out there and enjoy your camping trip. That's fun. I'm jealous. Uh, I was talking earlier about how scallop season is, is almost underway for Crystal River. So that'll be fun. Um, have, have an awesome trip. But yes, plan for some downpours. If you're camping in a tent, make sure you waterproof the tent. Okay, and we'll, uh, we'll keep going back through these graphics uh, again for you folks. Again, better rain chances Monday and Tuesday when the deeper moisture is kind of in place. 40% coverage, I think, for Monday and into Tuesday. And then next week, here it is, that moisture that will potentially be organizing um, in the Bay of Campeche, moving north in the Western Gulf late next week, Friday, Saturday, and into Sunday. 
and we'll be, watch, we'll be watching for that to maybe be our next name storm. There is nothing for nothing for certain right now. Very, very early to tell. Uh, it's just a 10% now over the next two days and a 40% chance of development over the next five. Um, and if that stays, if that deeper moisture stays in the western Gulf, our rain chances will actually decrease about a week from now, down to a 20%. So that's what I did with rain chances this morning. And a perfect comment coming in from our assignment manager here, Matt, saying, hashtag, hey, Amanda, is it going to be a great weekend to go out on the boat? Uh, today, actually, is a pretty great day to get out there. Not uh, concerned about too much for you guys for if you're if you're taking the boat out today. West winds at 10 knots, seas two feet, just a light chop in the bay. But it's actually a pretty good pretty good question, Matt, because uh, tomorrow winds will increase. So today's the less less breezy day um, compared to tomorrow. Tomorrow um, we'll see those winds between 10 and 20 knots. Michelle Olson, big question here, saying, hashtag, hey, Amanda, how's the red tide at Clearwater? Uh, so we've been talking a lot about red tide, um, and uh, unfortunately, it, it, it does look like it's expanding. The, the, the low to moderate samples have been expanding, and there is a, a red tide alert for Pinellas beaches, Pinellas County beaches. Um, right now, they issued that yesterday. JB and I were on here talking about that, and Christine McClarty had her story out at Clearwater Beach yesterday as well. So I do know that uh, in some spots around the area, they have had um, just a couple of dead fish here and there, and then in other spots, there are more dead fish being reported. Have not heard a whole lot about any odor yet, but a couple people... Um, on our stream yesterday sent us some comments that said um, they were at the beach earlier in the week and now they're not feeling so great. So uh, there's kind of mixed reports coming in from there. If you are affected by red tide, I would avoid the Pinellas County beaches with that um, red tide alert in place. We have an article right now actually up on our, our website. We continue to update this. We actually have a whole section um, on red tide. So this is a great great spot to go to get the latest information. Um, JB said it really good yesterday. If you just want to type in Google WFLA and red tide next to it, that's where the section will come up. And you'll be able to see some of the latest stories um, on red tide. So good, good question there. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, the samples that they have been taking um, are expanding and they're the, the the moderate samples have have grown a little bit so thanks for your question there Michelle Dennis saying hashtag hey Amanda looking for the lakes to become oxygenated for great fishing you know I talk about I talk about fishing all the time. I love fishing, but I can't say I do a whole lot of freshwater fishing. I do a lot of fishing um, in the bay and we go offshore, but um, I don't do a whole lot of lake fishing. So that's an interesting comment and I appreciate it. Thanks, Dennis. I hope that the lakes become oxygen oxygenated as well. I think I don't want them too oxygenated because that becomes a problem as well. But um, obviously no oxygen, everything will die. So that's not good. Hooray for oxygen, keeping everyone alive. All right, folks, um, I really appreciate all of you joining me here on this Saturday morning. I hope that you have a fantastic weekend. Um, I hope if you want the rain, you get a couple of downpours moving through, but the best chances for rain over the next eight days are really going to be um, in on Monday and into Tuesday. So uh, right now you can see we've got some clouds out there, not a whole lot of activity at this point, at least in downtown Tampa. There are several downpours moving through. Uh, Sarasota County and there are still some offshore in Sarasota so make sure you uh, keep, an eye, keep an eye on Max Defender 8 radar the app is free I did not update that banner there but the app is free for you on the WFLA app so you can download that and you can track the showers on your own using the same radar that I do here in uh, the Max Defender 8 Weather Studios. Studio. So again, thanks for joining me. Appreciate it. Um, have a great day. Uh, yes, go raise. Got a couple of comments coming in there. Hashtag Hey Amanda from Julie saying go raise, uh, raise game today. And uh, of course, go lightning tomorrow. We'll be back for more on that.
coming up tomorrow afternoon. Thanks, everyone.